Gojo, the strongest sorcerer in the JJK verse, versus Dio, the strongest Jojo villain. Both characters are able to manipulate space or time, with Gojo being able to manipulate space on an atomic level, with his infinity and Dio being able to stop time itself. What would happen if I were to put Dio and Gojo against each other? And who would win? Jack has done a Gojo video in the past. Feel free to watch them in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get into the video. Starting off with Gojo. Gojo's Limitless is a barrier that separates himself from anyone with an infinite invisible space that he creates between himself and his opponents. He does so by bringing the imaginary space of infinity into reality. Being the neutral form of Limitless, the infinity is commonly known as the ability to stop motion. But this is a common misconception. In reality, the true power of infinity is to slow things down. When something attempts to hit Satoru, the person or object in question instead hits the infinity between them. According to Gojo, this is a convergence of an infinite series. This comes straight from the paradox of Achilles and the tortoise. Akin to the way Achilles will never catch a tortoise due to the potential infinite amounts of finite space separating them, or how the real number one will never touch the real number two. This is due to the infinite amount of fractions that separate them. The opponent will never touch Satoru due to the infinity between them, and while approaching Gojo, the person or object in question will keep having their speed divided until they come to a full stop. Gojo can decide what does and doesn't touch him, and can do so based upon mass, speed, and danger ratings. This is something he needed to do manually, but now can do automatically, so he can essentially keep up his invisible barrier 24-7. Gojo's second ability Blue is able to pull enemies or objects towards himself at an extremely fast rate. He also uses this frequently to teleport by compressing space to place himself practically wherever he wants. He demonstrates his ability a lot in his fight against Sukuna. As he isn't limited to himself with the teleportation, he has brought along other people like Yuji. The reason why Gojo is able to keep his ability on 24-7 is because he has a reversal technique activated constantly as well, which allows him to refill his brain so he doesn't get overfilled with information from his six eyes. As he puts it, he has reversal red running around the clock and doesn't need to use hand signs constantly to heal. Now moving on to Hollow Purple. Hollow Purple is a technique that is a combination of both blue and red, hence the name Purple. It is described as an imaginary mass and is treated like a ball that disintegrates everything it touches, quite similar to Hakai from Dragon Ball Super. With the maximum version of Hollow Purple, he can increase the strength and the size of it. While fighting Sukuna, he was able to conjure a massive Hollow Purple that disintegrated an entire city block. Another ability that Gojo has is his Domain Expansion. Domain Expansion is an advanced technique that allows the user to create a barrier around themselves. This includes the target and creates a completely new space which is considered to be the init domain of the user. It's essentially their own little pocket realm where everything they do has aimbot and it completely nullifies any ability that is casted at the time being. All defensive abilities are nullified and we know this because Gojo says that when fighting Jogo. Jogo states that inside of his domain, even the infinity has to be nullified, in which Gojo agrees. Gojo's unlimited void allows him to pour boundless raw information into the target's mind. This in turn overwhelms them to the point where they're completely immobilized. With only being inside of the domain for 0.2 seconds is enough to completely knock non-sorcerers out and a couple of seconds is enough to give them brain damage. Theoretically, if Gojo did put Dio in a domain, he should logically be able to win the fight right away. That's assuming that Dio does get inside of the domain to begin with, as the speed difference between them is significant. Ability-wise, there isn't much when it comes to Dio besides the fact that he has a time stop of either 9 to 11 seconds. Well, that's depending on how you interpret the panel. However, Dio should be able to stop the progression of infinity itself, as all Gojo simply does is bring space to the current universe and slow people down by dividing their speed with the added space. But since Dio can stop both the progression of space and time with his ability, he should be able to harm Gojo. This is along with the fact that he is immortal unless his entire body is destroyed and burned, which means he should be able to endure pretty much anything. Now, I'm done talking about his abilities, I want to get into his strength. Gojo is stronger than characters such as Jogo and Dagon who are able to create and throw meteors big enough to completely affect cities. They're able to knock down massive skyscrapers and Jogo was seen in the anime to able to literally grab two skyscrapers and crush them with ease. Dagon, however, with his domain is visibly shown to create an entire island that contains mountains inside of them. 
so it really wouldn't be far-fetched to assume that Gojo should be in the range of mountain and island level of strength since he's relative to characters such as Sukuna who is able to affect the universe with his slashes by cutting space itself. Dio doesn't really have feats on this level when we're talking about something that has been demonstrated, but he has defeated people that can perform feats on this level. For instance, he's massively stronger than Tarkus, who can literally split a cliff in half, and he should be equal to that of a weaker Jotaro who can kill Enrico Pucci. Since Dio is somewhat equal to that of Jotaro, he should be considered universal, as it was stated Jotaro could kill Pucci, and Pucci should logically have universal durability. I'll explain that right now. The universe of Jojo is based on the Big Crunch. The Big Crunch is a hypothetical scenario for the ultimate fate of the universe, in which the universe's expansion eventually reaches its maximum capacity, then in turn reverses and the universe re-collapses, ultimately causing the cosmic scale factor to reach zero with the black hole, which is an event potentially followed by a reformation of the universe and restarting with another Big Bang. It would be intense enough to ignite the surface of the stars before they collide. In the final moments, the universe would be one large fireball with a temperature of infinity, an absolute end, which neither time nor space would remain. With the help of Pucci's map of what exactly happened, we can deduce the fact that the Big Crunch was indeed made. The JoJo's universe follows the full laws, and what Pucci did was simply speed up the process, for the universe would have followed the same fate with or without his involvement. The very fate of the universe would still have continued, of course. It simply would have taken longer without his involvement. So basically resulting in a universal reset. Since Pucci ended up visibly unharmed after the universe was recreated, he simply couldn't have been recreated with everyone else. We see that the clothes are spawned exactly right next to the characters in question, which further supports the fact that they have been recreated and all of them are unharmed. Pucci, however, appeared in the new universe visually, as he was in the Cape Canaveral with the same scar that he attained from Jolene. This means that since he didn't follow the course that Emporio went to, he must have experienced every event from the Big Crunch, which includes a singularity point that reaches infinite temperature and density. So since Pucci can withstand infinite force, he should logically have infinite durability as well. This isn't uncommon in fiction, either as we frequently see characters in Dragon Ball like Goku who got their powers to destroy an entire macrocosm, but gets harmed by bullets. The difference here though is that the knife is being backed up by force of Jolene. Now, for speed, Gojo is incredibly fast, being leagues above Maki and Naoya, who are able to operate at the speed of Mach 3 at least. But Hakari while fighting Kashimo is able to evade lightning bolts which are calced at at least 500 times the speed of sound, with the added that Kashimo is able to shoot electromagnets in the form of sound waves. Although Gojo hasn't directly dodged this, he does scale to Sukuna, who a weaker form was able to dodge it, which would of course circle back to Gojo. This would make him at least a speed of light. However, Dio scales to Silver Chariot through his fight with Jotaro and Silver Chariot can move faster than speeding Hanged Man. The feat which he performed against him is calc at around 300 to 800 times the speed of light. This is impressive, but I feel like Jojo characters who do scale to Jotaro and Pucci should logically be infinite speed, as Pucci himself is stated to have infinite speed. A lot of people in the comment section for my Jotaro vs Goku video brought up the fact that Notorious B.I.G has infinite speed as well, as it is stated that his stand also has infinite speed, so it would not make sense for Pucci to have it. The difference between Pucci and the Notorious B.I.G is that Pucci has infinite listed in his stand stats because he can move at that rate, while Notorious has a stat listed there because he has no limit to what he can move up to. So in turn, Pucci moves at infinite speed, as it cannot be measured while Notorious B.I.G has a set speed. However, logically, Notorious B.I.G should be able to move at an infinite speed if it adapts to someone with that speed, as it is stated that it simply adapts to whatever is the fastest. All of this, of course, would circle back to Jotaro and later Dio. This is pretty much it. Who do you guys think would win in this matchup? Drop in the comments below, and peace.